So this is a common question that would be asked of us. So what are the steps we would use to go through something like this? Well, first, we want to make sure that we can get a formula for copper 2 sulfate. That's what we're being asked about, so we know we need to be able to get that. Second, we want to be sure that we can get the masses for every element that's in copper 2 sulfate. Third, we want to make sure that we can add up all of those masses in order to get a total mass for the entire compound of copper 2 sulfate. And lastly, we're going to want to be able to get the percentages of each element in that compound. How much of that is copper, sulfur, and oxygen? So, where do we go from there? Well, let's look at the question and see what we need and see what we don't need. One of the first things we don't need is that 14.56. No matter how much copper sulfate we have, the percentages are always going to be the same. Next, let's get the formula. Copper 2 sulfate is CuSO4. Copper is a plus 2 ion, sulfate is a minus 2 ion. And copper has a mass of 63.55 grams per mole according to the periodic table. Sulfur has a mass of 32.06 and oxygen has a mass of 16.00 and there are four of them. If we add all those up, we end up getting a mass of 159.61 grams per mole. Now we need to get the percentages. And the way that we do that is we compare each one to the total. So 65.35 grams per mole divided by 159.61 grams per mole times 100% will give us 39.82 grams per or percent copper. Doing the same thing with sulfur, 32.06 divided by 159.61 times 100% will give us 20.09% sulfur. Finally, oxygen at 16.00 times four of them divided by 159.61 times 100% will give us 40.10%. If we add all of these up, we will get 100.01%. A pretty good indication that we did this the right way. I hope that helps. You'll see lots.